Hi, I'm Ryan Walker with the Sax Pro Shop here at Music Medic. And today I'm gonna to show you a modification that we do typically here in the Sax Pro Shop, which is removing the ball linkages on a Mark VI. Uh, so I have these replacement forks that I'm actually going to unsolder and then replace it with these normal uh, fork linkages. Let's go ahead and take some keys off here. So you can see here, this is the linkage that I'm talking about. I'm gonna actually remove this part and this part and replace them with these forks right here. All right, so I won't need these balls anymore. Now that I've removed the old linkages, I have to clean up this area right here and here before I'm able to solder on my new forks. To clean up this area, I like to use this bristle disc using a rotary powered motor. Now that I've cleaned up the ends of both levers, I can now check the fit of my new forks. Before I solder these forks into place, I'm going to put the key back onto the instrument and then just double check, make sure everything's lined up correctly. Now that I've reassembled both the levers and the pad cups back onto the body, I can now check any alignment issues I may have. Now that I've aligned my forks in the correct location, I can make a small mark and that'll help me line everything up when I go to solder it back on. I've made a mark with a Sharpie on the location of the fork that needs to be soldered into place. You can see one here and then one right here. Now all I need to do is take the lever back off and then solder the fork back into place. Now that I've removed both the lever and the forks, I can now jig everything up so I can solder it into place. Now that I have everything in place, we can now go ahead and solder. The solder I'm using for this is a hard solder, which is right here, and I'm going to be using a paste flux. It's important to put the flux on first, and this cleans and preps the area in preparation for the solder to flow. Now that everything's in place, I've applied my flux, I can now go ahead and start my torch and do some soldering. Thank you. 
Now that I've got the fork soldered into place, I just need to let it cool before I'm able to do any kind of cleanup. Let me go ahead and do the other one while we wait. Once the forks have cooled, I can go ahead and clean it off. For this, I'm going to be using a bristle disc. I really like this 3M bristle disc for cleanup. I find it's more effective when you stack multiple ones on top of each other. I have three on this mandrel. I also find that dropping these pieces in a pickling solution, especially after hard soldering this on, helps neutralize the flux and also helps get rid of any fire scale. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we're going to come back and clean up some more. I just went ahead and pulled the forks out of the pickle uh, and it's going to help with neutralizing that flux and also did help a little bit with some fire scale. I'm going to clean it up a little bit more. This time I'm going to use a slightly less abrasive bristle disc. So I used the yellow first to kind of clean up a lot of that fire scale, um, and now I'm going to use this white one. Now that I've cleaned up my forks with the white bristle disc, I'm going to go ahead and reassemble and just check for alignment issues. After reassembling, I noticed I have some clearance issues. This touch needs to be up a little bit higher. Same thing with the side C. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take the key levers back off and I'm going to raise that touch up just a little bit. I'm going to work first on my side B flat lever. So I need to hold the fork in place as I bend the lever upwards. For this, I'm going to be using Music Medic's key bending levers and then also our Music Medic duckbill parallel pliers. I think we're almost there. With just a little bit of material underneath this fork and then some material on this nub right here for this pad cup, I think we'll be in good shape. Let me go ahead and check the other one as well. As you can see here, my side C touch is just a little low. In fact, I'm having still some issues with this touch contacting this key back here. So I'm going to take this key back off and I'm going to raise this up a little bit more, just like the B flat. I think we have everything lined up. As you can see, both of my keys open the proper distance. I can now go ahead and put materials underneath the forks and on these nubs as well. If I need to do any kind of alignment with this fork right here, I like to use our Music Medic Duckbill Parallel Pliers. I'm just gonna go ahead and tweak this up just a little bit. There we are. And that's how we do our Mark VI side key modification here in the Saks Pro Shop. I think at this point, the only thing left is just to add new materials, oil everything up, and you're ready to go.